What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out this new video today. Have the Z in the garage here. Gonna uh, work on that a little bit today. I uh, got a new part to install both to get ready for Z days which is next week and to get ready for my first track event which is June 5th. So if you don't already know the uh, Z has some safety equipment that I installed uh, a while back. Got the Kirk Racing roll bar and my uh, G-Force harnesses. However, the seat that I've been using is basically uh, for all intents and purposes, a no-name brand. It's nice. It's got the uh, nice red stitching. It's a carbon fiber uh, shell. However, it is not FIA certified, so uh, that can pose some safety risks, both for everyday driving and for the track. Just to make sure I stay safe when I'm in the car, I went ahead and purchased a new seat that is FIA approved. So here we have my new OMP uh, TRSE uh, racing seat here. And there is the FIA certification. I do believe this is the cheapest FIA certified seat you can buy that's on the market now. Uh, this one was about, I think it was 300 bucks shipped to my door. So today we'll be swapping out that old seat for this nice new OMP seat just to make sure everything is up to par uh, in terms of safety. So first I'm just going to feed the uh, harnesses through the slots here, uh, make sure they're free. This one's connected to the seat base so that will come out with the seat. And then just have four 14 millimeter bolts to remove and the seat will come out. Alright, so the seat is out of the car, so now I'm going to remove uh, this harness here off the bracket and then I'm just going to remove the side bolts here. I'm going to leave the side brackets attached to the base because front to back it had good positioning so I hope with this seat it'll be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and start and remove these side bolts and then just basically swap the base with the side brackets over to the new seat. Alright, so we got the new seat attached to the bracket. It fit perfectly where the other seat was, uh, you know, in terms of the holes. So now I'm going to throw the seat in here uh, before I tighten everything down for sure. Just throw it in, sit in it, make sure it needs, or see if it needs to be adjusted at all. Then we can do our final tightening on the bracket and bolt it back in the car. Alrighty, so there we have the seat in the car. It definitely sits higher than the other one did, even at the same settings. Um, unfortunately, that's as low as it can go with these brackets here. Eventually I'm gonna to have to get some uh, super low seat rails and bring it down a bit. Um, as you can see, even compared to the passenger seat, it does sit up a little high, but I did sit in it with my helmet and I do clear the roof. Um, but front to back, the positioning is really good. It's a good driver's position. So uh, I think I'm gonna be happy with it for now. Obviously, drive it around, try it out, see how it goes, and I can make adjustments as needed. So for now, I'm gonna pull the seat back out so I can attach the right side of the harness and then uh, bolt it down into the floor and take it for a drive. And yes, before anyone asks, I did vacuum out uh, the rug underneath the seat. I did catch some some heat for that when I installed the seats in the uh, the G, rightfully so. But yes, in case anyone's wondering, I did vacuum underneath the seat. All right, so the seat is bolted down. Uh, it feels pretty good. Like I said, it sits a little bit higher, but. Um, you know, I'm going to try it out, drive it around a little bit, try a track day, see how it is. And if need be, I'll get the lower seat rail so that it sits a little bit lower. Uh, so far, compared to the other one, the driving position, uh, it's much more conducive, I, I believe, to performance and spirited, spirited driving. Because of the higher positioning, to get in and out, I do have to raise the steering wheel and the fact that I don't have a quick release, which I may or may not get in the future. But anyway, I have to raise the steering wheel up. But then once I get in, I can lower it back down and I feel like I have a really good driving position. I'm actually about to take it out on a uh, test drive, see how it is. And overall, using these settings or the holes that I did for the other seat, uh, it does feel a little bit better. Even once I put my harnesses on or my harness on, I feel like I'm a little bit more planted in the seat. So, so far I like it. Like I said, going to go test drive it, drive it for the next couple days, and then the uh, track day and see how it really uh, performs. But overall, I'm really happy with the purchase. Like I said, I finally have a safe seat to drive and race in. And I'm really excited to see how it is, both when I take it up to Z days around the mountains and then, like I said, June 5th, I have my first track day of the season, so I'm really excited for that. 
So thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, if it helped you, maybe if you're installing a seat in your car, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thanks to everybody who continues to, to uh, support the channel. Uh, as I always say, the channel would be nothing without all of you. All right, so I'm going to get out of here, take this thing for a test drive, see how the seat positioning is. Uh, thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.